apple right there. There we go. Well, hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. We are live in Florida. Say good morning, Rose. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's going to be a great day because we're making apple pie and we're having a good start to the day. It's the first live stream in a while. How much does the green one weigh? You got to see that. Uh, welcome to the new kitchen. It's still a work in progress. We're going to put the hood up tomorrow. Uh, we still have to put some glass in the open spaces here. LED lights are running everywhere in the That's backdrop. Two grams? Two grams? That, uh, a little more than two grams, yeah. And we're done. done with that one. Okay. And um, yeah, all is well. So Rose made, did you make apple pie last week? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. How many grams of coconut sugar did you put in there? Was it two or four? Four. Four grams. So we don't have the exact recipe and everybody was asking, for the recipe so i said you know what let's make a live stream let's write it down which is why we have our notes are you going to write the recipe or daddy Rosie. rosie's going to write the recipe okay and then we'll share it with you guys so the pie crust i already put in the description box that's the new york times one it's great and i made it yesterday because you have to chill it overnight i think but we're going to make it again today for a, a food network style swap out and then we'll make the filling which is coconut sugar based and I didn't want to make a gluten-free one just because I feel like if you want to make a classic quintessential apple pie, you got to use real flour, but we're using probably the best no. flour you can get at the grocery store. We'll talk about. What's that, Bibble? No, no, okay. oh, here, you got to push it like this. There you go. Now you can write the recipe. Write down four grams coconut sugar. Ooh, lefty. She's in my dextrose. So please leave a comment down below. No, perfect, yes. And then how many grams of flour do we need? Um, probably like 550. This yeah, exactly. So leave comments down below. No, Let they, us know where you're watching no, from. Read book. Read, you're, we're going to read a book? Yeah. yeah, we can read your favorite new book that just came in the mail. Um, also, we'll talk about it soon. I'm warming up some almond milk. Raise your hand if you want hot cocoa. Who wants hot cocoa, yeah? Uh, we're going to do a flash sale because it's middle of winter. It was brutally cold last I week. Know, we're doing 15% off of the keto diabetic friendly hot chocolate just for this live stream for you guys. Of course I'm going to give it to you. Do you want marshmallow on top? No. No? Okay, Daniel will have one on top. It's a peppermint marshmallow. Peppermint. Uh, peppermint. So a little I minty. I like chocolate. You like the, the chocolate ones, but you ate all the chocolate marshmallows. The doozy. Yeah. The, we'll get some more. We'll get some more. So I put the link down below. Uh, go to shopflavcity.com. It's promo code ROSE for 15% off just the keto hot chocolate. And if you want free shipping, we can do free shipping on any two items. So two bags of this. A bag of the keto lemonade in this. We're currently sold out of the immune tea. We flew through that last month and it's sold out and we're waiting for more to come in. Uh, but we'll talk about more about this later on. Just go to the link in the description box or there should be a merch shelf. If you go below the video, there's images of my, uh, of my products. You can click on them. Rosie want hot cocoa. Okay, I'm gonna warm up your almond milk and let's get rocking and rolling. Desi is at the chiropractor now. She'll be home soon. She's gonna help us roll out the dough and make it pretty because we all know when it comes to baking it's not my strong suit per se but when it comes to rolling doughs we have desi do that okay let's get rocking and roll well i have to warm the oh what's wrong what's already warm i had it on the slow burner by the way leilani say hi hi leilani's on the camera there do you want to go selfie style and say hi really quick or no uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I'm not going to pull up any comments right now because I don't want her to see a screen. If you have an important comment, maybe uh, Leilani will see it. Hi to Viviana, hi to Dirk, hi to everyone who popped on early. So uh, pour a glass of coffee, tea, hot chocolate. We're going to rock and roll. So hot cocoa first, Rosanna. Let me get this off of my burners. Which cup do you want? Do you want snowflake one or this one? Snowflake. So I had a feeling you'd say that. Snowflake for you. This is a double, double walled glass for daddy. Yeah. So here's what we'll do. It's hot. Uh, yeah, it's hot. That's why Daddy's gonna do it for you. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's tiny. Yeah, that's not tiny. That's big. 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 So this, this one's for Rose Honey Bunny this Ballerina. Hot cocoa. Yeah, we're gonna make hot cocoa, Mama. Okay. Hot cocoa. Yeah. Oh, are you expecting someone, Rose? <laughs> it's there's massive construction in the street outside, so the house is literally vibrating. Uh, but they're installing some uh, big wooden pieces from um, the shop in Deerfield Beach, including tomorrow they're going to install the, ho the hood. Okay, hot cocoa. So the pie crust is a cl classic pie crust. It's flour, 
butter, salt, and ice water. That's it. I did make one ahead of time yesterday. Uh, for kids, by the way, I do like a half a scoop. I made one ahead of time yesterday because it really has to chill overnight. Yeah, I'm going to blend it up for you. One second, sweetie. So we have our flour. We have our chilled Costco uh, New Zealand grass-fed butter. That's for Rosie. It might be a little warm. we got to wait, Rosie. I like this cup. The doubled walled glass so it never gets hot on the outside. Snowflakes on there, too. Yeah, we got to make one for Leilani, too. Let's get going on the uh, crust here. Yeah, we're making a video right now. How many folks are watching right now, Leilaners? Um, 1,054. Well, welcome to everybody. If you get a chance, you can share the stream and say Bobby and Rose are hanging out. Let's just cool down for a little bit. Let's make the crust. How many cups of flour do we need, Rose? Um, two. Two. Close. We're going to make one crust, although I made two yesterday. We need a cup. We need a cup and a quarter. Exactly. So here's what we're going to do, Rosie. One cup and a quarter goes in here. Oh, let's measure into this. Because into this. when we bake, Rosie, it's actually technically bad to scoop it in there. Yeah, so doing what you're doing doesn't give you a, a true cup. Oh my God, it's so big, huh? Here, let's do this. Yeah, this is why I can bake. Eh, big deal. Don't worry about it. Let's do more. Put more in here. I just don't love it because you really have to <laughs> have to measure and be precise. And little things like scooping the cup measure in there could actually throw off a recipe. Here, you hold that for daddy. Or not. <laughs> Good thing I made the one ahead of time yesterday. Oh, is that the bench flour? Okay, thank you. So let's, let's hold on a second. Yeah. So this is the flour I'm looking, I'm using. Check it out, Leilani. This is... You need a paper towel? How about this? I'm going to hold you over the sink and you can clap your hands. Ready? Clap. Clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. There you go. Okay. Ugh. King Arthur Organic AP flour, I think is the best you can do at the grocery store. Why? Because you want to walk. Okay. Here, go to your sink and wash your hands. Organic is a must when it comes to flour because of glyphosate. Our friends Monsanto and GMO corn and soy have ruined everything because the glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup, leaches into the soil and affects things like wheat really badly. So I would always use organic. If you're using gluten-free, just get the best possible gluten-free all-purpose flour mix, but it's just not going to be the same. And I want that quintessential flour for my pie crust. So a cup and a quarter. There you go. Get your tuchus back up here, Rosa. Okay, cup and a quarter, Rosanna. Take that and dump it in here, my dear. Thank you. Wow, wow is right. Now, <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing a good job. I need a pinch of salt in here, Roseanne. It's still hot. Let it cool down a little bit. Here, give me a nice pinch of salt. Quarter teaspoon. Good. Okay. Now we need butter, Rose. Butter. Cold butter. So I'm going to go to the... You want to go to the fridge? Come on, let's go. This is the only fridge we have right now because the big one's broken. Here, grab that butter right there. Yeah, we'll get both of those. And we'll get the ice water too. And this one's about to break also. <laughs> okay. So I'm excited. This is the first time I bought the Costco 95% grass-fed New Zealand butter. It's awesome. And it's cheaper than the Kerrygold there. But let's weigh this though, Rose. We need 10 tablespoons of mantequilla which is 140 grams. Yeah, you can open that, go for it. Whole thing. Whole thing, maybe. Let's measure it. Another reason why you have to be precise. But cold butter, why do we use cold butter, Rosie, for the pie crust? Uh, it's, you know why? Hot. Yeah, if we use hot, is that good or bad? Bad. It's bad, very good. Bad. Uh, cold? We'll make sure the dough is light and flaky and create layers of thin, flaky uh, crust. Well, I was going to measure it, sweetheart. Here, let's do this. Ready? Take the butter and plop it right on there. I need 104. Oh, it's 160. It's too much. Too much. Too much. A little too much. So let's do this, Roseanne. 
Here. I'll take a little bit off. The tiny pulp. Here. Put that back on there, sweet pea. And then we'll, oh, you closed it. And we'll measure it again. Here, hold that and plop it on there again. 158. We still have too much, Rosie. Like I said, I made one yesterday, so we don't have to be precise, but I don't want to waste the butter. Okay, so now, Rose, here's what we're going to do. Ready? Before we cut that in there, we're going to put this on the machine. And we're going to, we can do hot cocoa now. Hot. Let's see if it's hot. One second. Nope, it's good. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers to everyone out there. Cheers, you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Oh my God, I love the hot chocolate. Mm, what well, is hot cocoa? It's like Swiss Miss, but without the garbage ingredient. Mm. Try this using my promo code uh, in the description box. Shopflavecity.com Rose. Oh my God, I love that. It's too hot? Well, here's what I'm going to do for you. I have to cut the butter. Do you want your knife? Yeah. Okay. Before we add the cut butter, we're going to, there, use that knife. This knife. That knife. We're going to sift the farina, the flour. You can do whatever pieces you want. The most important thing, Rose Honey Bunny, is that it's cold. Burr. It's like, burr cuts like the song on your iPad from Khan Academy. Yeah. I wear a hat and scarf. Burr, it's cold. All right? Uh, yeah, first, let me just sift the flour. This is my food processor attachment to the uh, Vitamix. If you're wondering what a vitamin E is doing on the counter, it's because I'm trying to get rid of this scar here. It's been here for four months. You want to push the button? Okay, let me just sift it really first. Whoa! Push that button good. Hard. Push. This one. Okay. Okay, now. Now you're going to throw the. Wow. That wasn't good for business. <laughs> Hot cocoa's everywhere, Rose. Hot cocoa's everywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the Exxon Valdez spill. We need another order, Rose. Okay. This is the joys of cooking live. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's spray it with some branch basics so it doesn't stain my quartz. I'm going to use my... Uh, Promo code to reorder some more. Oh, good. Yeah, keep cutting that butter, sweetie. Thank you. This is a uh, quartz from a company called Cambria. Really, really nice stuff. We use this. That's too hard. I'll help you. We use this for that backsplash too, and then the back counter has a a different color. I'll help you. Well, it's hard because it's um it's uh, cold, Rosie. Very important that the butter is cold. Okay. Good. Good thing it's a large island so it doesn't go on the floor. Okay, we're back, Rose. All right. <laughs> it didn't get lit on either. Look at that. If it was the old kitchen, it would have been all over your lap. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get the butter in here, then you can wash your hands. Here. You want to wash your hands? Okay. You can go to your sink. Look what I'm doing. Cutting your butter here. Why don't you throw the butter first while your hands are dirty into the food processor, sweetie? Thank you. Some people actually grate the butter. You can do that too. It might blend into the dough even more uniform, but I think the key is just um, chilling it overnight. Super important. Good. Thank you, Rosanna. I'm going to put this one back in the fridge. Get some more almond milk because Daddy needs another cup and so does Leilani. And then Mommy's going to want one too when she gets home from the chiropractor. Done? Thank you. Okay, go wash your hands in your sink. And then 
we'll cut the butter into the dodo. Oh, didn't even make a mess. I'm making more of a mess than Rose. How about that? Okay, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome. We're live on Wednesday morning in Boca Raton making apple pie. Classic recipe. The dough recipe is from New York Times. If you want the recipe, I left the link down below. And then the filling, we're taking notes because we eyeballed it last time and it came out beautifully. Want to push the button here? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Now we're cutting the butter into the dough. They want hot cocoa. Yeah, I want hot cocoa too. Why do you want hot cocoa? Good. And off. They want hot cocoa. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now ice water. So the ice water is going to help the dough come together. Come together right now over me. Are you going to pour it? Yeah. No. It's pretty tall. Can you reach up there? <laughs> no. No. So we'll just pour enough for it to come together, which is about two to four tablespoons. You'll see it. It'll start to pull off the edges of the wall of the food processor. And why am I using cold water? So we don't heat up the butter. Because the blade is actually causing heat right now. And we're trying to keep the butter as cold as possible without melting it. And I think we're just about there. See? See that, Rosie? Yeah! yeah. Okay, done. Done, done, done. Now, Rosie already put out the bench flour for us, which is very kind of her. Yes, who's going to make it into a ball? Rosie. Are you going to slap it like that? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Beep, 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 beep. Um, raise your hand, by the way, if you're loving the rose shorts and the rose videos. I think it's a lot of fun just to intersperse that with our other videos and everything. And once we get, actually, the kitchen set up more, we're going to do more live streams. We're going to work on overhauling the process so it's not the iPhone anymore. There'll be three different cameras everywhere with different angles. So give us some time with that. Okay. <laughs> Your knife? Oh, you don't need it right now. You're doing this. Watch. Gently take the flour and spread it around for dado. That's called bench flour. A dirty hand. Yeah, dirty hand. It's okay. Well, first, do this. You can get the dough already there. That looks like a perfect dough rose. I've seen a lot of doughs in my day. That's a perfect dough. Yeah, give that a good slap around, Rosie. There you go. Show that doll who's boss, Rose, honey bunny. I see it, it's beautiful. Okay, now let's roll it in the dough a little bit like this. Now slap it, give it a good slap. Yeah. Good. Are we loving Rose's bling lately? Mama Alley inspired, for sure. I love it. Okay, now. No, 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 no. Do me a favor. Put your hand here and push as hard as you can, Rose. Push, push. Oh, strong. Who's strong? Rosie. Rosie's strong. That's perfect. Okay, now. You want to poke it? Oh, we poke it once it goes into the pie tin. We got to wait for mommy for that because daddy's not qualified for that job. Okay. Almond milk's no, no. ready. Pick up that dough and plop her right in here, sunny girl. Thank you much. Yeah, we're doing more. This goes into, ah, oh, no, 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 let's not put that on the floor. Hold on. Wait, 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 not on the floor, not on the floor. Here's your hot cocoa, my sweet. Good. You want to wash your hands again? Okay. What's what? Oh, that helps keep my cutting board in place. Although the shelf liner loses its like stickability. And I just bought something last night on uh, Amazon. It's supposed to be like a permanent sticky thing. Yes, let's go wash. Let's go to Rose's kitchen and wash our hands. Okay. Soap. Scrub it up. Turn your water off when you're done, please. Here's for you. Alrighty then. Okay, good. Uh, your hot cocoa's right here. Your hot cocoa's never too far away. Don't you worry. Here, I'm, I'm Daddy. Yes. Da oh, Daddy's? I spilled it. I'm making a new one now. I'm going to make a new one for me and Leila Okay. Somebody asked what kind of pot you use to heat milk. Oh, this is actually 
uh, a really nice copper pot uh, from, it's called Movier. It's really expensive. They sent it to me for free a while back. I, I probably would never buy it. It's like a $250 pot, but because it's copper, the heat conduction is amazing, but I just like it because it's really cool looking, but it's very expensive. Okay, now Rose Honey Bunny Ballerina. Let's show, you know what? I'm gonna swap this out for another board. Look at this, Leilani. So we'll do a behind, come over here. We'll do a behind the scenes of the whole kitchen later on. But we built a lot of cool things in here and we have a great wood maker in Deerfield Beach. So these are my slots here for extra cutting boards because I have these huge cutting boards that you never see me use because they're so big, but now they have a home right here. So now we can start using these easily. And then if I need sheet trays, when they live vertically here now, instead of stack on top of each other before and stuff like that. And then KitchenAid stand mixer here can live here all the time. And then you just pop it up when you need it and you use it and then throw it back down. So Jesse and I put a lot of thought into this kitchen and uh, we'll do a whole video once it's done. It's just super exciting to see it come to life. It's alive, Rose. It's alive. And the pantry, we'll show you the pantry a little bit later on. That actually got installed yesterday. So, dang girl. Okay, you got it, boss. Here's the dough we made yesterday. Check this out, Leilana. It's cold. It's cold. See the difference? Look at this. This is fresh and soft and mushy. And which one? You want some propolis spray? Yeah. Okay, we should use some actually. And this is hard. It probably needs to sit out, to be honest, like um, 10, 15 minutes just to warm up a little oh, bit. No. Oh, no, what? No, Let's use some propolis. Oh, oh, yeah, I see mommy coming home. Nice. There we go. The car. Mommy took the big car. Tiny car stayed here. This is the propolis spray from Beekeepers Naturals. Amazing stuff. Okay. So we're going to make the filling now. So Rose, this is where we have to take notes actually, because we already have the crust done. So let me measure how many Pounds. We have an assortment here of, which, what are the green ones called? Um, Granny. Granny Smith. And what are the red ones called again? Um, hmm. Search with a G. Gay. Gala. Gala, very good. And Galas. There's like a whole like rule about which are baking apples, which are it's eating apples and it. stuff like that. Oh, first one, I'm going to peel them. And Daddy will peel it though, because I know yeah. we don't want to slice your finger. So let's do this. Change the unit to pounds. I just want to see how many this is. I don't think we're going to use them all, would be my guess. But let's just see. So this is five and a half pounds. Let's just write, oh, let's just write that down. Yeah, Cooking with a toddler is always very interesting. Yeah, mom, 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 we're, mom, we're doing more right now. 5.5 5 pounds of apples. Okay, apples. apples. So. You want daddy to peel them or you want to help? Daddy. Daddy, okay. So daddy first. Daddy, Leilani too? I'll make the hot cocoa too. But Rose, I'm also going to make a little bowl of water here. So after we peel them, they don't get brown. You got it, or oxidized, as they say in the business. All right, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, okay. Grannies. Yeah. Granny Smith. We're going to peel the granny. This is like the only time I would use a granny. I don't really eat them. I think granny is my second least favorite and then Red Delicious. Does anyone like a Red Delicious apple? Do you like Red Delicious, Delicious Leilani? Yeah, pretty good. You like, really? They're so boring and mealy, aren't they? Mm, but they're comforting. <laughs> they are comforting. They're, they're classic Americana. It's kind of funny that you give your teacher the worst apple. In the universe. Here you go. Okay, you put in the water. Okay. Oh. Okay, so what else is going on? Uh, is your protein powder coming out soon? So protein powder will be out uh, hopefully by the end of the month. It's my protein powder that smoothie. One, this, one. this one's the gala. Gala. And we talked about it a while back. 
that's gonna be like my complete smoothie. I'm normally making a blender, powderized, and all you have to do is shake it with your milk of choice. Coming out later this week, finally, the Flav City Vitamin C capsule called- If I have an apple. Yeah, yeah, it went on my finger, called See You Later. It's a blend of acerola, camu camu, amla berry, and rose hips. It's the most bioavailable source on the market. There are a couple others like it. Syn Synergy makes one, Paleo Valley makes it, but ours is actually cheaper. So that will be ready very soon because as of right now, all I do is take this, Leilani. I just take acerola powder, which is good stuff. But when you blend it with other bioavailable sources like Amla and Kamu Kamu, unstoppable. And I'll tell you more about it when the product comes out, but you always hear me talking about vitamin C's that have ascorbic acid. Garbage, basura. Ascorbic acid is not what they call bioavailable. This is, and we all need as much vitamin C as possible. I hear mommy. Here you go. Toss that in for daddy-o. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. <laughs> Rosie, gentle, sweetie. Uh, and what else? Um, like I said, just for this live stream and probably the next 72 hours, the Keto Hot Chocolate is on flash sale. So check this out, Leilani. See what it says on the front? It says six grams of net carbs, but there's zero grams of any kind of sugar yeah. added or natural. Zero grams, Rose. Granny. But read, read the granny. Read right here. How many grams of fiber do you see there, Leilani? Two grams. Two grams of fiber. That comes from the coconut milk powder. Two grams in one eight ounce serving is technically a prebiotic because fiber feeds your gut bacteria. So it's a functional prebiotic hot chocolate with zero grams of sugar. And because we used the most expensive stevia you can buy, there's no aftertaste on your tongue. And we combined it with just a tad, a smidgens of non-GMO erythritol. It has a sweetness like sugar. And when you compare it to the sweetness of a Starbucks hot co well, co chocolate or a Swiss Miss, I think it's very similar, but it's 100% keto and diabetic friendly. So 15% off the next 72 hours. Thank you, Rose. Using promo code ROSE. I put the link in the description box. There's also like a banner of the images right below the video. Or just go to shopflavcity.com. Shopflavcity.com. Hey, Mom. Promo code ROSE for 15% off. Apple pie. Apple pie, Mama. And we need your help very soon. And uh, free shipping when you buy any two items. So two bags of that, a bag of this, plus the keto uh, lemonade, which also has acerola and 100% of your daily value of vitamin C. And I'm gonna pour a glass right now for me and Leilani because I poured mine I almost all over cocoa. Leilani. Do you want hot cocoa too? Yeah. You got it, ma'am. Here, gently put that in for daddy -o. Thank you, Rose, honey. Thank you. Yeah. And we moved into the new house about three weeks ago. And uh, things are coming together. This kitchen was started to be designed by a year and a half five. ago. There's five in there so far? Yeah. There's no more room. There's no more room? Yeah. Can we make room, do you think? No more room. Yeah, try your best to make room for one more for daddy. Did it work? You do it? Oh, thank you, Roseanne. You're so sweet. Okay, so that's it for that. I'm gonna push these off to the side. And then we should probably get, we can start cutting those and actually season them, Rose. And then have mommy come and roll the pie dough. Are you gonna help mommy roll pie dough? Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause daddy's not very good at that. No. no, 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 no. All right, let's make some more hot cocoa. Yeah. Here, let's get some more cups. Yeah, we got to blend up too, exactly. We'll do another one of these. Rosie wants to blend up? Okay. Rosie wants this cup. You want that cup this time? Yeah. Okay. This one's for Dado. This one's for Leilani. And this one's for Rose Honey Bunny Ballerina. You want more? Yeah. Okay. There's a big bubble in there? Yeah. You want to pop it? Yeah. Go for it. Did you pop it? No. Did it pop by itself? Yeah, it happens. You want to blend up? Okay. I got to add the hot cocoa first, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey. Yes. For kids, I always give a half, half portion. And this isn't quite a full portion here. I didn't put enough milk in there. Nice rose honey bunny. Good. Now push the button. You gotta push the button before you take it out right there. There you go. Thank you, sister. Order up. You can actually add coffee to this to make it a keto cafe mocha. We put the video on uh, Shop Flav City on Instagram. Leilani made a video doing that. There you go. Look at that. Oh, Cheers, my dear. Cheers. Is it good, Rose? Yeah. And this is. You want to do a cheers? Okay. Second round. Maybe Diego will get a few more sips out of this one. I like using the frother because it makes it have a nice foamy head on there. Okay, cheers. Cheers, Lemony. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm warming some more water for you, sister. Okay, okay. Let me just clean the board. And then we can cut the apples and season them with flour as the binder, coconut sugar as the sweetness, cinnamon, and lemon zest, lemon juice. <laughs> More hot cocoa? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so you can share with daddy. Here. And then want more hot cocoa this cup. In that cup? Yeah. There we go. It, it was already blended. Oh, oh here you go. Yeah. You want to pour it out? Yeah. No, 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 no. We just made that. It's good stuff. Do you want to blend it or no? Yeah. Here you go. Mm -hmm, gentle. Good. All right. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're hanging out. I've been putting vitamin E oil on my... Boobo. How'd I get that booboo, Rose? Do you remember? Boats. At the boats. Yeah, with Rosie. I had her in my arms and I fell and just raked my wrist against the concrete with the paw pressure of her in my arms. Taking forever to heal. Okay, done. Okay. The guys are out there. Yeah, the guys are out there. They're working. Lots of workers around here, Rose. Okay, I think we should cut the apples now, Rose, and then get everything ready. So we have flour there. We need coconut sugar here. Keep that away from Rosie for now. Cinnamon. Actually, you know what? I think last time we used pumpkin. pumpkin. We used pumpkin. She, she remembers. We used pumpkin pie spice. And I just liked it better. <clears throat> so that's, I mean, that's optional. We'll do that. And then lemon zest and lemon juice. Thank you, Rose, honey. So uh, let's, let's start cutting these, Rose. Oh, we got to core them. I think the core is in here. Let me pull you back for one second. Ready? Beep, 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 beep. Let's move this down here. There it is. Here you go. Oh. Yeah, we'll core it together. The father and daughter coring team. Okay, ready? We'll get the red gala out first. Let's do it together. Ready? Hold your hand here. Push. Push. Good. Now turn it like this. Twist. 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 Twist and shout. Now pull it out. Oh, wow. Here, pull this out with your hand. Oh. Yeah, I'll push it for you. Ready? You did it. This is garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, you can throw it right in here. Boom. More garbage. Okay. Want to do it again? Yeah. We'll do a granny. Yeah, yeah. Granny Smith. <laughs> Juicy. 
Did it spray you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pull. There you go. This is garbage. This is garbage, correct. Good shot, Rose. Off the rim. Ready? Okay. Mm-hmm. There you go. Look at the, the seeds are in there. Isn't that crazy? My seeds. There's seeds in there. Good. Ready? But this is too funny. It's really funny. I agree. You can see the seeds again. If you plant the seeds, a new tree's gonna grow, Rosie. It's like from your books, uh, Rose Honey, Cinnamon Apple Cake. Cinnamon Apple Cake. Yeah. There you go, you can pull this one out. By the way, I uh, just launched on Amazon uh, a couple weeks ago. The, uh, they're in there, you just can't see it. They're deep in there. The Tasty Adventures uh, of Rose Honey. Oh, that one missed. It's a three-part series. The first two are out. That's chocolate avocado pudding. Chocolate chip cookies are out. And then Super the cinnamon apple cake up. is coming out soon. So just go to Amazon, type in uh, Rose Same Honey Book, and you can check it out. Time. Try Again Time is your new book you got. Time. Mommy! How was chiropractor? Best one I've had to date. Are you serious? Ooh. Highly, highly recommend. There's seeds. Oh, nice. Thank you, love. Highly recommend them. Nice. Was that recommended by? Uh... By Edwin, yeah. Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best one. I like apple pie. Apple pie. Oof. Thank you, Rose Honey Bunny. Did you do cracking, or was it more of like an atlas thing? Uh, no, it was actually a massage. <laughs> and a very like specific. You got one. Oh, really? Oh, wow, we're going to cut them now. I'll get your knife, hold on. Um, also, like, you know, like with the Theragun? Oh, like yeah. The... Similar to the on my hamstring. Oh, Theragun. Like after, Jackie like, sent us one. Soften, they wow, really? Oh, yeah. Did he, did he... Oh, cool. When he adjusted with their pops? I have to. Let's do the filling first. Oh, yes, we can work side by side, actually, on that. With their pops? Can I have some? There was, uh, there was some pops, but he only only did a few areas where he thought it was needed. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, let me get you an, your, your microphone, very, huh? It was, it had purpose and it was like literally the best service wow. I've ever gotten. You want to put maple syrup on there? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, Rose's mic was on there? Uh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, my, my. The mommy needs, mommy's mic. Yeah, Rosie has one too. Now mommy needs one. Yeah, what like it? right there, I had a lot of tightness. Very mommy yeah. yeah, Rosie a, still a has lot one. Of Look, it's right here. He like identified immediately, like what was going on. Oh, by the way, and then I told him like I was doing these leg presses. He's like, these are the worst exercises you want to do. Leg press, he said. Very bad. Very bad when you're sitting like that to push on your spine. Oh, interesting. So he said not to do that one anymore. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Good Yes, quads are great, yeah. But like the leg press, no good. Wow. And and then sleeping, you guys know, like it's really bad to sleep on your stomach. Who sleeps on their stomach? A lot of people really? do. Really? A yeah, lot. Side. Yeah, yeah. Si side is okay. Best is on your back. And then also you have to watch your head not to turn to one side or the other. So you have to have like a support on each side. Like that's ideal. <laughs> I mean, but who's gonna do that? I mean, some people do like put a towel around so they head doesn't pop around. But it, that, that is the best position on your back. On your back, yeah. But then it encourages snoring with your mouth gaping open. Mouth breathing. Um, no, no. Good job. Oh. Which one's ready, this one? Uh, yes. That's um, two doughs. Two doughs, so I have to cut, two, yeah. okay. No, 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 it's a cut. Roses and the coconut sugar. Very nice, oh, the sun's coming out. Got some good natural lighting in here. So I'm slicing How's the, the apples. lighting? Is it good? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to tell. It was kind of overcast when Leilani got here and it's still like partly cloudy. I'm cutting the apples on the bigger side. I'm gonna preheat the oven actually right now. <clears throat> this pie bakes for a long time and I think that's another key to its yeah. uh, greatness is that during that long time, the apples really break down and get soft, but it doesn't turn does into the mush. Thing. Does the thing, yeah. So I'm gonna start at 350. 
There's nothing worse than an apple no, pie where the apples are hard. Here, you want me to give you some dough? Yeah. Here. And a big piece. I'm going to start at 350. And the way I did it last time, I'm going to do it the same way, is 350 for 40 minutes. You're doing a big one. 375 one for you, 20 you, minutes. You roll this one over. And then 400 for another 20 minutes. And, this one. and I'm sure there's an like easier way. Like it just worked last time. And I got that browning gradually. And it was lovely. I'm just going to do it again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm just going to write the recipe for the quantities of the filling. So we measured the apples. I used this. <laughs> you have to... Spread it out, my love. <clears throat> Mommy's the dough queen. Okay, do we have a bigger roller I, I, than I, roses? I can't find a, a bigger roses? roller than this. <laughs> There's your roller, sister. Well, I did it last time. With hey. it, so yeah, it worked last time. Perfect. My guess is we won't use all these apples, you but... You can roll it. Why, why, why don't you work on I'd this rather have more. It's actually you want it to be like a mile. You want to roll? It down. Come roll over here. Come roll with Mama. Are you eating coconut sugar, Mishkan? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. If you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner tonight. How many folks are watching right now, Leilani? 1,572. Welcome to all. Uh, I put the link to the pie dough recipe in the description box. And when I'm done, I'll update the filling recipe because we're it tweaking it now. When we did the video last week that lives on YouTube Shorts or Facebook or Instagram, we eyeballed it. <laughs> so this time I figured we should actually write it down. Kind of important. Yeah. Right? Rosie, you eyeball it and we write down whatever you eyeball, Mishka, yeah. because you did <coughs> it best. Exactly. You gotta watch that uh, yeah, take it easy on the coconut sugar. Let's, let's take it one more, one more. Easy, girlfriend. All right, good. Jeez. You want to wash your hands? Yeah. Okay, you got to go to your kitchen. My kitchen. Where's your kitchen? Where's your sink? Yeah. Let's go wash your hands and I'll put some soap in there. Do we have the baking dish, Bebo? Uh, we do. It's in the sink. There was a hot chocolate spill and it was uh, collateral damage. Uh-oh. Good. Here, let me get you a paper towel. The, you can't beat wheat um, pie crust. That's you what just, we're talking about. You, you just can't. And you need the wheat, you unfortunately. If you're gluten-free, you you can't make uh, a flaky pie. I'm sure there's a way to do it. And if you're celiac or super sensitive. Well, yeah, you're going to make a pie, but it's not going to be flaky. It's not going to be crusty. It's not going to have that, um, yes. that texture to it, unfortunately. And... We don't eat gluten. But for this we do. <laughs> but once in a while, it's okay, you know? It's, it's Unless all right. you're intolerant or allergic. Right. You're just not going to get those layers of flakiness. Put okay, yes, we're going to put coconut. We have to measure that, Rosie. So, let me get my... I put the, it looks good, right? I put the water. Just a little more, me, and then we'll put it in the dish. Yeah, let me get your dish here. Just a little more, Mama. And <coughs> spread it out just a little more. Yeah, Daddy's going to bring the dish for us. Let me spread out just a little more so we can cover the sides. Mm -hmm. This is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not garbage yet, Rosie. <laughs> not garbage yet. You ready, Mama, to put it? Bring the dish over. Oh, you're going to put it. Okay. All right, now ready? Go ahead. Ready, set, go. There you go. Poke it. Okay, here. We gotta poke it. Rose knows. Yeah, you get a little fork here. There you go, my love. Very gently, all right? Very gently. Yeah, gentle, come. Rose. Very nice. And now, uh, Leilani, I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of coconut sugar here. So somebody remember that quarter cup. I think that's gonna be perfect. Then I'm gonna do a quarter cup of flour might be too much. Let me see. I'm going to cut today. And cut the sides, Mamu. Just a little bit. Let's we'll start with that. That's three tablespoons of flour. Just a little bit. Let's just write this we down so don't it in the places it where it's 
<laughs> that's enough, Mama. That's enough. The, we actually we actually spread it out so perfectly that wow. there's no garbage actually. We spread out. <coughs> look, did lemon zest. Spread out. Wow, perfectly. Rose, that's a gorgeous Absolutely crust. Absolutely perfectly. Now that's let's gorgeous. put on the mixture, Mimi. Careful with the lemon. The lemon will offset the sweetness, but too much will make it acidic. So I'd say the zest of almost one lemon. Merit that down. Rosie, we gotta roll out the top part now, Mama. Almost. Mm -hmm. And then. Rosie, do it? Oh. Here you go. Lots of lot of seeds in there. Rosie's multitasking. Yeah. Taking half cocoa and rolling out wow. dough. Look how many seeds came out of this, Lani. That was like a third of a lemon, and there's like 25 seeds. That's goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Did I buy it? Extra seeded lemon juice. Rose apothecary. <laughs> yeah, right? Nice, Rose. Look at that. Look yeah. at that, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll, roll. Rosie, roll, roll, roll. Pumpkin pie spice. <laughs> no, Rosie. You want to do it? Okay, I'm going to measure it and then you can do it. Let me see here. Three quarters of a teaspoon. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, that pie baked for what? An hour, baby? Hour and 20. <laughs> Twenty. That doesn't go in there. When you're done with it, you put down here, sweetie. This one's getting hopped up on coconut sugar. <laughs> and hot cocoa. Yeah, this is her second cup. Uh, three quarter teaspoon. Was it pumpkin spice? Cho hot chocolate day or something the other week or something? It was National Hot Chocolate Day on Sunday, I think, actually. Yeah, hot chocolate or just chocolate? No, hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate. Everything has its day. So, how about apples? pie, pie day? <clears throat> pie, I'm sure there's a national pie day. Someone can look it up. Apples, lemon zest, lemon juice, sugar, flour. That's it. I'm not going to add salt March to this. March 14th. So there you go, see? It's got to be there. What'd you say? Pie day. March? Oh, pie day. Oh, sorry, Why is so late in the season? I don't well, understand. It's because of a pie, like 3.14, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Oh, make, oh wow. What that enough. makes sense. Well, that's the wrong pie, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe they did that on purpose. The wrong pie celebration. Everyone eats pie that day, then. <laughs> are we celebrating math or are we celebrating baking? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> well, they're very closely uh, adjoined, right? You have to measure very precisely. Oh, wow. There's the connection right there. Let's leave it now. This is the top part, right? So, right now, we want to check it out. I'm eyeballing it in respect to do I feel like there's enough flour on here that it's going to soak up the juice that oozes out? I don't want it to sog my crust, but I don't want it to be too much that it gets starchy. So what I'm going to do also is just taste it for sweetness. My love. Hold on, Michika. Hold on, Mama. That's going to be the perfect test. Make for it, sweetness and make sour. It, but make it around. Like need a little more flour, in my opinion. Don't pinch it. Don't pinch it with the fingers. When we put, then we pinch. Right. So I'm going to do. It's a full quarter cup of flour, and that's it. The filling is done. And the coconut sugar. Oh, you want to add the filling. Makes around? it refined sugar free. But coconut sugar, as Rose tells you, has a nutty caramel flavor. And there's zero reason to use white sugar. Zero. Yeah, that's, I think that's what mm. sets this recipe mm. apart, mm. is the coconut sugar. It's just so caramelly. It's so good. And so delicious. Coconut sugar is where it's at. Mm. I'll take coconut sugar over radio sugar any day. There's like literally like no reason to eat white sugar. Yeah, you can make powdered coconut sugar. I, are you, are you okay. adding the apples? Ready, Rosie? Go ahead. Let's see if we need the whole thing, though. So, Okay, ready, Rose? Push them in there. Ready? Whoop, Do we shelter. need the whole thing, Rosie? My guess is yes. Rose likes the whole thing. Uh, oh. uh, no, not quite. No. Hold on. I got, That's a lot. I know, but I need to know this for the recipe. Hold take, on. Take this one on. This one. The one that's a bit we could take out. This one then looks very good. Not perfect. Uh -huh. Good? Mm -hmm. Ready, Ruska? And the mouth. Cover. Mm, delicious. Beautiful. Now, gently, gently, we gotta crimp the edges. Look how we do it, Mishi. How we do it like this. Like that, look. Yeah, crimp it. Crimp <laughs> it. Just a little bit. You know, you, oh, we can do the egg wash too, Rosie. Oh, the egg wash, yeah, Gentle, Rosie. gentle, gentle. Crimp it. 
Can somebody go back to the beginning if you can and tell me how many um, crack, yeah, crack an egg? You, you got to separate the egg. How many grams of apples did we start with? Do you remember? <laughs> Was it 550? I put them on the scale. Someone will tell me. So I want to weigh the residual here in grams. Yeah, but was the, were they cored or not? Eh, don't worry about it. Were they cored? So it's an extra... Um, 1.5 pounds. Oh, it's five and a half pounds. You're right. But were they cored? So I'll do this in... Um, no, that was whole. So, so it's not easy to tell. Eh. This is seven ounces. So this one I can roughly... Rosie, let's do the egg nice wash Rose. now, Mama. Rose got all the eggs. Oh, of course, oh, Rose you. got the eggs, bro. So apples... We just need the egg yolk. We have to separate now, okay? Five you gotta separate. Minus six okay. ounces. Six O Z. Gentle, gentle. So five and a half is five point eight. So basically, it's five, it's really five pounds. Okay. We only need one egg yolk. Okay. So it's five pounds of, it. of uh, apples yolk. Let me give you a bowl, okay? Cool. Yeah. Now uh, Rosa's gonna separate the egg, which means we have to be very gentle because we don't want to crack the yolk, right, Rosie? Very so show us how very, you rip very it very gently. gently. Very gently, so we don't break the egg yolk, <coughs> right, Mamo? I, I think it's ready, just very gently open it. Very gently. What's huh? the product that you use for that? Gentle, gentle. Oh, uh, active skin repair. Lower, 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 lower. Use two hands to rip it apart, Rosie. Two hands. Hey, <gasps> Bravo, Mamo, bravo. We have it's to do another one. Save, no, save that one no, for... No, it's okay, it's okay, we can salvage it. Oh, Perfect. Fine. And we're not making a meringue. And now we're gonna we're gonna add some water to it. And and it broke. It's okay. It's, it's okay a, that it broke. For the pie, it's fine. For the pie, I was it's confused. Fine. I thought we were doing. Now let's else. add a little bit of water. <coughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of water, and then you can take your leg up for Do the pie, mom. You're gonna brush the pie, Rosa. You're gonna you're gonna do it right now. Absolutely. I'm just wiping let me the, get the brush for you. Cinnamon mommy. sugar off the floor, Rosie. Is the brush in the drawer, I think? Oh, uh, it is indeed. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Brava. Wow. Okay, now mix it up first. Wow, that mix pie looks. Nice, oh my god, it looks amaz balls. Holy cow. Is it docked enough on top? I think it can use a few more dockings. Otherwise, it's going to explode like Fukushima. Yeah. Is it okay that the bottom crust wasn't so big? I mean, I don't think do you think it's going it's to it's gonna come out of the pie? Uh, I mean, it's better if it overhangs, but it didn't. Gently, gently, Mama. Gently, gently. Mm -hmm. And then cinnamon sugar. Oh, well, on keep going um, like this, look. Like you're painting. And then we'll do some uh, coconut sugar on top. And then we'll do a cleanup and we'll hang out and do some Q&A. This is going to bake for a long time. And I'm going to bake it. Yeah, we're going to bake it in the small part of the oven. Mm-hmm. Gentle. I just like to use the egg yolk when I do uh, a wash. There's no need for egg white. It can actually sit kind of weird and uh, create, create a strange kind of looking uh, crust on top. So all you need is the egg yolk with a little bit of water. Make sure you get it all around. I don't so think mommy's done yet. You gotta, put, you gotta make sure it's on evenly. You gotta put coconut sugar on top. Crust everywhere. You ate, oh, look at this mouth. Okay, first of all, hold on, come here. Oh my God. Look at this mouth. Look at that, Rosie, huh? Who's got hot chocolate and coconut sugar in their mouth? Oh, yeah. Rose, honey, bunny, ballerina. You want to clean your mouth? Nice, sweet gal. That pie looks, let me get it wet. Classic, Martha Stewart style. Oh my God, totally Martha Stewart. Right? This is the kind of stuff you watch on Martha PB Stewart or like... PBS. Or like, um, yeah, a British, uh, British mm. Baking Championship. Yeah. Oh, I don't they think love their pies. Yeah. Right? 
Oh, hold on. Keep your. You want to take your microphone? The bridge has so many okay. pies. It's amazing. <clears throat> I love that show. Anything you think of, you they put in a pie. Okay, keep it on. You want to go over there for a sec? Um, That's the, okay. This is some video. Okay, you can go over there with, with Leanna for a second. I'm going to clean up a little bit. Let's put the cinnamon sugar. Let's put the sugar on top, too. You know how, like, they made the, uh, the Great British uh, Bake Off? So, like, everything is so, like, dramatic. You know, everything's so serious. But I like it because it's all about the bacon. You know, it's like there's, serious stuff, you know? There's no like stupid things like in the yeah, US yeah, yeah. Uh, competition <laughs> shows where it's like, you're gonna get dunked into a tank or... Right, right. All right. No one's mean. Sugar? No one's mean? They're a little mean. No. The judges? Uh, the judges are a little mean. Well, the old one, that guy, what, Paul Hollywood? He's like serious. Yeah. But Mary Berry was like Oh, Mary was grandma. the best. Now, Jimmy Oliver's doing a she new show where this pie. the winner gets a, a book deal, which is super smart, actually. Oh my God, this looks unbelievable. That looks ridiculous. How good does that look? Really? Mm, good. Good. Very good. All right. May 13th is National Apple Pie Day. Oh, okay. Nice. When? May 13th. Apple Pie Day. All right. Hold on. Let's put that, on, May a, uh, let's right put that on a sheet tray, a mini, mini one. Here. And then we'll put it in the small part of the oven here. The bottom? Yep. All right. Here this we go. Boom. I'm back in an hour and a half. <laughs> this is some videos. You want to watch some videos? Yeah. Okay, first let's set a timer for 40 minutes. No tips on. How about you do a compress on your eye, because you still have your sty, and you can watch some Elsa clips. Yeah. Sound good? Okay. No tips on. Okay. <laughs> so here. Leanna will take you to the couch to watch some clips, and we'll prepare a, uh, a hot compress. So, pretty good, right? Easy. I took my notes. There, my chicken scratch. Are, you, are we live on Facebook? Uh, we're on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. We're in the safe zone. I don't know if you've seen, but so, oh, wow. when we do the Facebook Lives, which... Uh, we, we, were, we were on Facebook. No, like, just trolls and haters come in there. It's super weird. Okay, so... I'm going to clean up. Why don't you tell people about the book and how it's a family affair and I'm going to clean up and everything. What are the other care. two books? Uh, let, me, let me grab them for you real quick. Yeah, so this is yeah. one of the three uh, part series of the Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey. This one is chocolate avocado pudding and it follows yeah. Rose as she goes on a fun culinary adventure of uh, making a chocolate pudding. But not an, any okay, ordinary pudding. Chocolate. It's made with you see it? avocados. Oh, okay. And uh, it's just so, so much fun. It's kind of like goes through the different ingredients. Yeah. She's tasting everything along the way, how she's experiencing okay. everything. And, uh, and just uh, describes the whole recipe in a fun way. And at the end, there is the recipe itself. So you can make it yourself. And you can watch also Rose make that. That's what um, but this whole book was illustrated by my brother. My brother, Kawian Nachev, and his son. And both me and my brother wrote the script. That make Leland reach something. Jeez. We wrote the script together. Uh, and it's a really, really fun children's book. The other two are a Chocolate Chip Cookies, which was the first one. And Cinnamon Apple Cake is the last one coming out in a few weeks on Amazon. But you can buy all three of them right now. And uh, probably my favorite one is the Cinnamon Apple Cake. It's, it's a really cool, fun adventure where Rose goes to the land of spices and aromas and uh, discovers all different spices in the spice market and brings back cinnamon and, uh, and nutmeg and cloves <coughs> and we add that to the apple cake. Um, so if you're looking actually for another recipe to make with apples, it's actually this one. It's one of my favorites, uh, cinnamon apple cake. Here's the, that's my favorite here's the recipe. Show the illustration Again. of the uh, going in the oven. That's my favorite yeah, part. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby's favorite illustration here is the one 
where we're making the caramel sauce in the desert with coconut milk and coconut sugar. And it's just, I guess it reminds us of that trip we took to um, Jordan. To Jordan. In Petra. And we spent the night there in the desert. In Wadi Ram. In Wadi that was Ram. Amazing. I guess that's why we're so kind of like, it just reminds us of that fun time we had. And uh, it was su such a cool spiritual adventure there. So, um, yeah, the Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey. Every, every morning she wakes up and she has a delicious idea to make. And then at the end, she goes to bed and she she dreams of what she made and all the other uh, delicious things she wants to make next. This one with apples, another one with avocado, and the other one, all well, different cookies she wants to make um, in her chocolate chip cookie recipe. I mean, the, the illustrations are unbelievable. My oh, brother okay. worked for uh, close to a year on all of them. And uh, they're just spectacular. I've never seen a more beautifully illustrated book. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to read with your little one and to, uh, to actually use it and make a recipe together with your little one. And, and watch the video at the end. Yeah, because they're gonna want to make it. So go yeah, to Amazon these are just like, and check it out. These are just like such a fun project that we did and uh, I'm so proud, I'm so proud of it. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Super cool. So just search Rose Honey Book on Amazon. Order them, leave a review if you don't mind, if you like them. Yeah. Kids and grandparents are gonna love it. And moms and dads. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna make some hot tea. Lelani, can I make you a coffee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just clean up a little more. All right. And then we'll hang out, we'll do some Q&A and all that jazz. Is it safe for 19 months to consume uh, 19 months, uh, I'd say wait till two and then do it in moderation. You know, that's why I say uh, like for parents to have, when they have my hot chocolate or the keto lemonades, ideally wait t for two and uh, do half servings. Just because stevia is probably more safe. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol. We put a minimal amount in there because I'm very sensitive to it but we don't want to mess up with their guts so early on. So just, uh, that's why I say wait till two. And pull up the uh, live stream here. It's gonna start smelling amazing in here. We're about to hit three million subscribers this week, you guys. That's crazy. Oh my God, really? Yeah, it's gonna happen this week. And over a billion views already. Yeah, a billion views, it's crazy. Desi, your black cabinet knobs were a perfect choice over the gold ones. Thank you, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, feedback about that. Uh, on Instagram, because initially they were gold, and then Desi said black. We did some polls. And people said, no, stick with the gold. <laughs> but Desi was adamant, and once she, everyone saw the black, they're like, yeah, that's where it's at. Oh, nice, Tiffany. Congratulations. Uh, did you give the crust for the, re the crust recipe? Uh, yeah, the crust recipe is, <clears throat> is here in the description box. It's New York Times. Or just search online, New York Times pie crust recipe. It's, it's fantastic. <clears throat> we got Teresitas here from Los Angeles. Missed you too, Emily. Recording right now is uh, Leilani. She helps out a couple times a week here. Yeah, I'll show you more of the kitchen in a second and we'll do some more Q&A and all that stuff. The kitchen's not quite done yet, but it's getting there. And I'll show you the pantry, which was installed yesterday. We found an amazing wood maker in Deerfield Beach. If you live in South Florida and you want custom cabinets made for any part of your house. Cabinet fabricator. Cabinet fabricator. It's RT22 he Creations. Yeah. He made everything custom exactly how we wanted it. Crazy. This is real wood, no fake material. Yeah, one second. Yeah. No, no MDF, right? Okay, why don't you come on up and Desi will give you a little tour of the, the kitchen. And <clears throat> you guys actually helped design it because we asked you a lot of feedback yeah, on Instagram I mean, stories. Um, so I followed the Feng Shui principles when designing this kitchen. And we were limited to an L shape here with this. Uh, architecture 
Um, so for that reason, I put um, all the appliances that are water-based on one side, a refrigerator, dishwasher, <coughs> and sink on one side, so that there's no conflict if they are next to or directly across from um, hot elements like the stove. And so we have the, the stove over here and we have the mini oven over here. So according to Feng Shui, you don't want to have conflict of heat and water. So that's why you don't position those two elements directly across from each other or right next to each other. Um, and then um, also uh, I did like a, like a soft corner here. Um, so that uh, again, following Feng Shui Thank principles, you, uh, that there's no sharp edges or um, things that kind of like are not so pleasant to the eye. That's why we, we did this um, kind of like a soft corner over here. Uh, and then uh, what else? What else? Yeah, so we did, did it like a dual color, uh, natural wood on top and this Aegean teal on the bottom. Um, this is the Benjamin Moore color of last year. And when I saw it, I knew immediately that that was the color for for cabinets because I was looking at different colors blue, but um, navy is just so outdated and um, initially it was going to be navy. But when I saw this color, I was like, yes, it's so tropical and it's, it's, it's like a softer blue and it's just perfect for, for <clears throat> being here in Florida and for having that a little masculine vibe as well yeah, um, since masculine. Bobby's Kitchen, you know? Yeah. And also, I love this, uh, a really cool thing is like these huge drawers here. They're like, like 48 inches or something, 40 something inches. Why I like big drawers like that? Because once you open one, you see everything. You don't have to open, yeah. oh, is it in this drawer? Is it in that drawer? Is it in the third drawer? You open one and you see everything there. So the wide drawers like that are a must. So that, that's a huge thing. Uh, we also have like uh, pull out garbage uh, here. And over there, I mean, the kitchen's not finished yet. As you can see, there's no glass um, yet, and the shelves are still missing in the hood. But it's all coming slowly. Talk about the sink. One by one. And how I utilize yeah. it every the single day. Sink. This is like um, a 45-inch sink by the galley, and so is the faucet. It's so functional, so useful. It does come with attachments where you can like chop and like drain things and so on and so forth. But we tend not to use those because we fill out, fill up the, um, the whole sink with, with dishes and with pots and pans, and they just go get out of the way so you don't see them. If you're sitting over there, you don't see the mess inside um, the, the kitchen sink. If the sink was here in the middle of the oh, island, wow. you'll see that mess all the time. Um, then we have like a filtration system down here. We need to put the faucet up here so we can easily access it. That's the same one we um, had back in the day. But yeah, that's the same one. And then we have this yes, like... Yes, comes down, by the way, so it is the spray area. Yeah. We, we have another garbage uh, <coughs> drawer here. We haven't been using that. No, we haven't used We might want to convert so it to something So if you want else. to convert it to something else, yeah. And then the panels on the, with the double dishwasher. Yeah, the right double here. dishwashers. These, so, these come in handy. We use those two all the time, right? Yeah. So all the appliances are from Heston, which is really a fantastic company. It's expensive, but it's worth it. So we've got the double dishwashers with the custom panels. <clears throat> the refrigerator has been a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> it's, uh, we're gonna, we were gonna do custom panels on here, but we decided actually we don't wanna do that. We wanna get the black that matches the range, but uh, it got bashed up during shipment, so this doesn't work. So they're gonna send over um, the new one anyway with the panels, with the black, so that's gonna take a while. But instead of being 24, 24 inch, I actually want 30 inches for the fridge and 18 for the freezer and we're not going to do the custom panels it just it's too much work and then because this is broken we're going to return it and swap it out and, and then this is my beauty <coughs> right over here Leilani. this is the range so <clears throat> it's an oven and a half here it's heston it's made in california i'm baking the pie in the small oven here but it's nice because the oven stops anywhere you stop it and it's always a soft close and finish here and I thought I wasn't gonna love the griddle. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been learning how to clean with it because it gets a lot of stuck on stuff. This is amazing for griddling my keto toast in the morning, buns, tortillas that we have every day. 
And then five burners here. Look at this. This is the searing burner. I haven't used it yet, but watch this flame here. Can you hear this? Listen. Oh my God. I, I can see it. Yeah, I don't, goes I, up I don't want to use it yet because we don't have the hood installed. But a lot of um, Michelin star restaurants will use Heston, like French Laundry and Alinea in Chicago, and they have home appliances. And um, they were nice enough to give them to me at cost because they know I'm a big fan. Um, but they're fantastic. They're expensive, but they're fantastic. Yeah, and we didn't go with the double oven. You know how people sometimes have ovens stacked to the side yeah, on the wall? We were initially going to go with that, but we didn't due to feng shui um, conflict being next to the refrigerator. You don't want to put the hot element next to the cold element. So that's why we compromised with an oven and a half. I mean, ideally you want two ovens, mm -hmm. right? But we just didn't have the space. And then an another fun fact is like, you know how usually in these kind of uh, drawers here, <coughs> you would have spices, you pull out spices right next to the oven, like on this side or this side. But Bobby said, no, no, no. If he doesn't want to put his spices next to the oven because the heat, the heat would compromise the spices. Yeah, you can't and, do that. And, and make them age or just deteriorate over time. The oils quick, get around quicker. It. Yeah, the, the oils. The essential oils in the spices there you go, exactly. will, will bloom without no, being exactly. effective on the food. <laughs> <coughs> um, but yeah, so, so that, and then over here, this is a really cool thing. We have this like mini, mini fridge over here, which is actually supposed to be a wine fridge, but currently we're using it as a real fridge since the, our, our big one's not working yet. Uh, and, it's, um, and it's now become Rose's fridge. So, exactly, um, yeah, she uses it. Yeah, so, and that's, uh, that's a little, um, you know, there's going to be doors here, glass doors. It's going to be a little, it's like, it's called a hutch, where you would have, like, your nice, um, you know, glasses and silverware and stuff like that. There's going to be two drawers over See here. See the LEDs I just turned on there? Yeah, so that was Ruben's idea. We have LEDs all over the place, uh, inside the cabinets, under the cabinets, when you open doors in the pantry in the cabinets, uh, under the hood, under the shelves. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. The wood maker recommended it. We're like sold. Yeah. And then, uh, let me show you. Oh, there's a ton of storage over here. All these doors here, you open them and there's a ton of storage. So I hope Bobby never runs out of storage. <laughs> I know well, he will eventually. Speaking will of storage, it. go show the pantry yeah. now. And uh, the pantry, the walking pantry just got installed yesterday. And in the vibe of the, whoops. In the vibe of the of the kitchen, we're using the same color. So these here are kind of hot drawers, so that you can just pull and you know grab out whatever you want. These are great for cans, any kind of packaging and stuff like that. Look at how many drawers: one, two, three, twelve drawers. Hubby holes here for wine. They're stunning, really cute, like a little cellar. And the pantry keeps going. It just keeps wrapping around here. We're gonna put a little countertop here. We have an outlet, maybe we'll put, um, we can plug an appliance here, whatever we need, but there's like tons of storage down there for other things we might not end up using. Um, and maybe we'll, we'll send Rose back there to grab things for us as uh, it's a little out of reach for us. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, we'll look forward to filling up this pantry with lots of Bobby approved items. And over here is the hood. You can take a look. Look this at that beast. It's like a spaceship. Go above the stove. It's humongous. Uh, and uh, yeah. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be like a kind of like a centerpiece. And then what you're seeing over here is part of um, build outs we're doing around the house, the first floor. This is going to be in the entryway over there where you take off your clothes uh, and yeah, shoes and stuff there, like that. Blow, blow and cool. a similar pattern is going to be here on these first time sliding ready. doors. Behind them, I'm going to have my <coughs> photography studio. That is clean, where I'm sweetie. going to do a lot of food photography and all sorts of other stuff I'll, I'll have it permanently set up so it's close to the kitchen but um but also i don't have to shift it 
or, or uh, bother with it, touch it, or remove it over time. And um, yeah, so that's it. Are there any questions? Oh, let, let me show you this, this part here of the, of the pantry as well. That's another little pantry area here. With more, more of Bobby's stuff. Honestly, babe, there's so much room. <laughs> I at. promise you, I will fill it up. I guarantee. <laughs> guarantee. Well, the, for some reason, the island is permanently covered with stuff. I, I don't know how, how to clean that stuff up. I mean, there's always stuff. There's like, oh okay, yeah, I understand fruits and veggies are great over there. But there's constantly little things like... I told you that would happen. All sorts of stuff, packages, little things like sprays for the mouth, sprays for like things like first aid kits and whatnot. <laughs> like I, I don't understand why they're, they're on top of the island. It's, it's just life. I told you, Jesse's like, oh, when we move to the big house, I want the island clear. And mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, it's never gonna happen. Also, these little containers here, all different colors, they're going. Well, not yet they're not. They're, they're going. We're not yet. I can't look at that stuff anymore. Wait, so Half of them are empty. But they're so pretty. No, I don't like these. What a bare backdrop? Colors. What do we have? Like a minimalist no, no, kitchen? No, absolutely. Now, these are not staying here. There's going to be these containers with like, you know, maybe nuts or whatever, <clears throat> coconut sugar. They'll be on the shelves, okay? Nothing's oh, going to oh, sit the, around the, there. Sure. Oh, because we're putting the shelves here yeah, too. Yeah, we're putting the floating shelves. shelves. So oh, yeah, I don't want these like random colors. That's fine. Well, we don't have the shelves yet. We're going to coordinate like beautiful, like we're going to do some contrast with like, like a coral kind of like... Um, no terracotta color. Mm. Uh, and the pendants too. Oh yeah, the pendants we haven't chosen yet. Make sure to so, follow Desi on Instagram because we're asking for your feedback Yeah, a lot. it's um... Sponge shot. What kind of sponge is that? So great. People told me the other day, uh, the scrub daddy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it just the pure sponge? There's no chemical in it? Uh, they do dye it, but they make undyed one. And uh, it's good for, it's a nylon based one, so you can use it on like uh, nonstick pans and my griddle top. Okay. Uh, fans were like, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, so yeah, the pendants, uh, that's a tricky <laughs> one. Originally, they were gonna be these like a weak, um, like a rattan pendants here. It looks like almost like a basket. The Bobby didn't like them. He said they looked like flimsy, they look kind of see through, he didn't like that. That's weird. I like them, but I guess, you know, boss, nah. really boss said. So we're looking at other things because there's a, lot gonna be, there's a lot going on here in the background. We don't want something to kind of distract. So it has to be something subtle, but also kind of like to go along with the, with the design, not to contrast things too much. So I, I have a few things in mind. We'll see, I ordered a couple of things. We'll see if it works. And then... Uh, Jessie's well, got mad design skills. She does 95% of the design. I come in at the very end. 99. 99. I come in at the end. And then I always say, yeah, I like what you did. You know? Or if we he get says, something... He says, I have two choices for him. This or his mother. Yeah. But I always pick the one that you like. Yeah. Like with the countertops. She brought me in after she chose them, basically. I'm like, yeah, these are perfect. Ah, uh, huh. my coffee. Yes. Camera. Camera person, we can't leave her hanging. But the chairs, I love the chairs. Those are stunning. Those yes, we nice. picked a long time ago when we're still doing the design. Uh, now that they're pretty okay, and okay. just work with the entire design, they're just like so comfortable too. So I love those chairs. That was a great, great. Yeah, someone said, keep in mind that with the pendant, it should be easy to clean since you cook so much and there's always oil in the air and stuff like I that. I love how people recommend me stuff that's easy to clean. Well, uh, if like, you get like a wicker thing, it's going to get oh. built up cruddy oil he, all over. Actually, you're right. Yeah. The, and then the dust and everything. You're <coughs> very, very, that, that's actually a good point. Thank the ones you. I'm looking at are actually almost like a plate, a very kind of like wide bell kind of looking thing. So that would be very easy to clean. There you go. Why see? isn't there a pot filler above the stove? Like, you know, for water? Feng shui, feng shui comfort. <laughs> water above heat can mix the two. Okay. So... And also, we don't, we don't use that stuff uh, a lot. Also, we use purified water for our pots, like if you put yeah, more soups and stuff like that. Too, yeah. So I would fill it up with, pure, uh, with filtered water. Also, like I said, I'm not Italian. I'm not going to cook pasta here every day. I need a pot to fill up. No, in theory, it's handy. But it's not feng shui, and I don't want to use unfiltered water for that. Right. I use the alkaline osmosis water for that. 
Right, uh, like a lot of people, uh, they have it and I never see them use it. We were at Mama Ellie's house, he didn't use it once. True. And when you don't use it over time, it stuff builds up. I mean, it's... I don't know. It just, yeah, in my opinion, That's it's just Sanders not says, worth it. They're all pipes, they're all pipes going the same place. Yeah, and it's just going to make the, the background, it's just going to break up the uh, <coughs> beautiful stone in the back, so I didn't want to do that. There's going to be a lot of action over there with the hood and the floating I was going to address that, but I'm like, okay, nobody's asking. <laughs> Where did you get the bar stool? Uh, Barstool's actually multiple stores sell those particular ones. Uh, Kathy Kuo Home has them, but I didn't buy them from her. I found a cheaper price somewhere else. They're called um, Woven, Woven something chair. I don't know. Uh, but on Kathy Kuo Home website, you can you can find them. She just has a little. Her prices are a little higher, and you can find the same exact thing somewhere else. Yeah, so... Um, but this is why I that? love the big sink. So everything from here is cleared and cleaned. And yeah. yeah, there's a lot of dishes to be done. But they're, they're all in there. They're out of sight. Out of sight, out of yeah. mind. And, and now it's very out. popular to have your sink smack in the middle of your, of your island. Zero chance that's going to okay. happen. Okay, why? Because, okay, you can stand here and make, like, like, look out there and, like, clean your dishes. Also, there's a huge conflict with your water against heat here, fire, fire and water conflict. So um, that's why we didn't do it. Well, listen, minus the feng shui thing, maybe it's fine for most people, but when I'm presenting like this, yeah, put that, yeah a lot of people, the sink right yeah, here. A lot of people not, don't film YouTube videos yeah, in their problem. kitchens. It's a problem. Yeah, so. it, ideally, you want the sink actually to be facing a window. Like I said, because we didn't have that opportunity with the L-shaped here and uh, uh, the builder didn't offer that, we don't have it. But ideally, you know, uh, the perfect kitchen, I would say, is com it's kind of like a, um, like a rectangle where you have like the sink on one side facing a window, then you have your stove, and then you have your refrigerator, and it's a triangle. It's, it's very functional. It's very comfortable to work that way. Um, but like it all depends on your um, architecture. Yeah. The triangle, have you heard of like the, the kitchen triangle where you have like, it's mm. like sink, sink, refrigerator and oven. Ah, yeah, I don't know about that. I think that's why they, they put the sinks on the island also because it's like easier to go from stove to island. Yeah, true. But I'm not too concerned about that. And of course, Rose's kitchen is right here next to ours. She has her little functional kitchen where she cleans dishes and makes her all her recipes. And yeah. Very, very cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're about 80% of the way done with the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, this, this whole thing was like a lot, of, a lot of work. I mean, from like literally like choosing the high hats to to the stone to like the handle for the high hats i chose ones that are high cri uh color rendering index which what that means is the light that they um give off renders the colors in their true nature um you know how uh you have sometimes you go somewhere and like just colors look fuzzy or just they don't look that happens also when you're, of course, you have the color temperature uh, warmer, but even if it's warmer color temperature, you want your CRI to be high in order to, to render the colors better. And you want that usually for filming uh, and for areas where you just want to uh, see things better. Currently, because the light is coming down on us, we don't have light in our faces, so we're not set up for filming. But we do have additional lighting that we can bring in and illuminate us from uh, across, not just from. Uh, mm hmm well, Like I said, I want to upgrade our uh, live streaming setup to not use the iPhone anymore. Ideally, we'll have two or three Canon cameras hardwired and going into a ca into the like the MacBook, and then we can have different angles. And all we can do, or Leilani can do, is push a button, and you go from camera one, which is me talking to you. Camera two is the cutting board, and camera three would be the cooktop. So that'd be cool. Just got to figure out how to do it. Can't be that hard. 
All right, look at that, clean. I'm making some more hot chocolate here. And we'll do some Q&A and all that stuff. Oh yes, we did, we hired someone last week, a girl uh, from South Florida to be the new uh, Shoplift City uh, customer service. I want to mention the entire kitchen was designed with the help of Decorilla. It's an online design company. Yeah, they're great. That you, you, everything is virtual. Mm, they, they do your whole design and you can Thank you, tweak Tammy. it, change it, whatever, work with them. It was an amazing experience. I had Betsy Miller uh, working on our project. She did an amazing job from just from building everything exactly, all the measures she provided, all the, the details, advice on functionality around the kitchen, um, just from, from choosing the finishes, the, yep. um, the, the knobs, the pools, uh, all of that was stunning, like the chairs, you know, all, 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 all of that was like Decorilla, and they helped also design other things around the house, like uh, bathrooms and the and few build outs. Right. It's, gr it's great. If you have to hire an actual like um, uh, design decorator or um, um, that, that could cost you like a lot. But if you go with them, it's, it's like a flat fee depending on what you're doing. And I just had an amazing experience. Oh, and they also have discounts Thank for you, different Nora. stores. Like for example, once you select whatever Thanks, you're baby. getting for your house, um, you can add everything to your shopping list and there's discounts for different stores like CB2, Cranberry, all, all furniture stores you can think of, they have it. Question, outdoor kitchen update. Mm-hmm, that's next. Not ready yet, right? Because we're building a pool out there too. So pool is gonna be first, but we're gonna meet with a kitchen person yeah, I'm soon. Gonna, um, it's on my list actually to talk to somebody about an outdoor kitchen. And uh, it was just, there were so many projects <coughs> around the house that I couldn't get to it. It's a bit crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be, of course, Bobby's going to have his like a built-in barbecue and like a little sink outside. And yeah, we're going to have like a mini kitchen out there. Yeah. I don't want to be walking back and forth for sure. Uh, a mini fridge that works. Yeah, the range is called Heston. Very good. Uh, everyone's saying they're loving Desi's explanation of everything. They love mm -hmm. hearing you talk so uh, passionately about the kitchen and everything. I've been working on this project for a year and a half, literally from like the design with Decorilla all through like the build and still it's still not done, still working on it. Uh, but um, it's been definitely a big, huge, huge project. <clears throat> Just from finding the right contractors to work on. You know, every, you, need a, you need an electrician, you need a plumber, you need a blah, blah, you need a stone guy, you need a, a guy to install the plants. Literally like 10, 10 different teams have come in and worked on some part of the kitchen for the last yeah. three months. Uh, share the name of the online designer again. Decorilla. Decorilla. Ask for Betsy. I highly Betsy, recommend it. Betsy, Betsy, the best. Absolutely um, the best experience I've had. That's funny, Jack Klompus. Uh, Art is gonna visit actually uh, oh, in a couple, in weeks? couple weeks. He's gonna come down with the Paul, 18th. the Eggman, yeah. Art we'll do a live stream for sure. That's gonna be epic. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Paul is coming too? They're coming together, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Better have the rooms ready for them. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of work, but it, it's, it's great. What Do you need a Rosie for anything, Bevel? Right now, no. She did her work. Everyone's okay. asking where Rose was. She was here for the first hour. She helped make the pie. Pie's in the oven. Come over here for a second, Leilani, if you don't mind. So... I mean, this is what you want to see. It's mounded up nice and high. It's getting slowly cooked. And I want it slow once again, because I need those apples to break down and for the pectin to come out of there. So that's why the first 40 minutes are at, as you can see right here, Leilani, 350. So once again, this is my range. Half oven, big oven, five burners, griddle, made in California, Heston, really, really nice, right? Fantastic, I had my eye on that. The funny story is actually, Art's sister works for the company. That's how I learned about them. I did my research and then uh, I wanted it. So I reached out to them and they, like I said, they gave it to me for cost, which is still expensive. But uh, if you want top shelf appliances, 
way better than like uh, a wolf or a Viking. It's just, it's fantastic. Rose Honey Bunny Ballerina. Okay, come over here real quick. Want to come over and say hi? No. no. Rose is tired. Got to make you some lunch in a minute too. Okay, so what was I saying earlier? So we're, we're having some more hot chocolate and just for the live stream and maybe the next three days because the live streams live on, we're doing the flash sale. 15% off my keto diabetic friendly hot cocoa with promo code ROSE. Go to shopflavecity.com. I'm doing this just for YouTube. Shopflavecity.com, promo code ROSE gets you 15% off. Now, this in my opinion tastes like Swiss Miss or have you had like the Starbucks hot chocolate Leilani? I think it tastes just like that. But I can't pull it up on the iPad right now. Starbucks 12 ounce hot chocolate has 27 grams of sugar. There's four teaspoons of sugar, or four grams of sugar in a teaspoon. So that's just shy of seven teaspoons. Do you know how much that is? That's an insane amount of sugar. That's liquid diabetes, type two in my opinion. Swiss Miss, same amount of sugar with um, hydrogenated oils. We don't do any of that. We have zero grams of sugar, both added and natural. We sweeten it with top shelf stevia, which has no aftertaste, a touch of non-GO erythritol unrefined pink salt to complement the cocoa and coconut milk powder. Coconut milk powder has fiber. So there's two grams of fiber in there. There's no natural flavors, artificial flavors, preservatives, filler, bull crud. There's nothing bad in there and it tastes like the real deal with like the most minimal stevia flavor that you can barely even notice. So even if you're not keto or diabetic, this is what you want to drink because nobody should be drinking seven teaspoons of cane sugar, healthy or not when you're having a hot cocoa. So shopflavecity.com. The link is in the description box or below the video. There should be um, little images of my products. Click on the hot cocoa. Use promo code ROSE, R-O-S-E, 15% off and free shipping if you buy any two items. So maybe get the original or the pink grapefruit lemonade. You get two items, it's free shipping. Fun fact about the lemonade, because we put acerola in the ingredients, if you see right here, it says 100% of your daily value of vitamin C from acerola. Acerola is the most bioavailable source of vitamin C. So you're getting a keto diabetic friendly uh, lemonade, either the pink or the original, and 100% of your daily value of vitamin C. And like I said, later this week, my new vitamin C capsule is coming, which is going to be best in class, the ultimate immune booster. So a lot of exciting stuff and the protein powder smoothie is coming next month and the sleepy tea latte should be coming in March. We're going to Utah next week to work on different flavors of everything for the rest of the year. So very exciting. The protein? Protein will be end of February this month. So very, very exciting. Okay, what else is going on here? How much stevia can you have in a day? Uh, you can, in theory, have as much as you want. It's really your tolerance to it because it's not a sugar alcohol, it's just a plant. Erythritol, I would really limit to no more than high-end two teaspoons. For me, the only erythritol I have is the one in here. And the reason why I use it is that it has this certain sweetness that when blended with the stevia is really nice. But I can't do that much erythritol because I'm very sensitive, my gut. But you'll be fine, I think, with my products. But ones that have a lot of erythritol or pure erythritol or the monk fruit sweetener from Lacanto that's cut with erythritol, too much for me. I can't handle it in my gut. Oh, that's a good question. Let's see. Michigan's in the house. When, when is your range hood? Uh, it's coming, uh, it's gonna be installed tomorrow. It's here actually. Uh, they're just gonna install this big <coughs> wooden piece that goes over that. That's from Heston too. India's in the house. When is your sleepy tea latte coming out? I'd say March. We just have to do one more um, reformulation to make sure the sweetness is correct and the creaminess. How much coconut sugar went into the filling? It was a quarter cup. And I think I'm still gonna stick to that amount even though I'm taking out six ounces of apples. So it's five pounds of apples total, quarter cup of coconut sugar, quarter cup of flour, half a uh, zest of lemon, a tablespoon of lemon juice, three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon. It's baking now at 40 minutes for 350. And in two minutes, that'll be up. And then we up it to 375. 
Protein powder is gonna be epic, Greg. You're gonna love it. Protein powder came about because it's the number one thing scanned with the Bobby approved app, which is knocking, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door of 300,000 downloads, which is crazy. And 99% of the protein powders on the market are garbage. So I took my protein powder, my protein smoothie and took every component and powderized it. So you never have to use your blender again. My protein powder smoothie is 100% non-denatured grass-fed whey protein, organic pea protein powder that's third-party lab tested that has almost zero heavy metals, uh, grass-fed collagen, coconut milk powder, peanut butter powder, cocoa powder, reishi mushrooms, cordyceps mushrooms, cinnamon, and pink salt. You shake it like a Polaroid picture with 12 ounces of any kind of milk, it's the creamiest thing ever. It's portable, it's shelf stable. You'll never have to use your blender again. You never have to drink a cruddy um, Premier Protein, Only What You Know, all these things that have processed oils and garbage ingredients. <clears throat> Spell the range, please. Uh, H-E-S-T-A-N, Heston. Did you hear from Art? You'll hear from Art. He's gonna be here in two weeks. We'll do a live stream. Need more, we always need more cowbell. My community is asking why you're deleting some of the requests or comments. Um, we have moderators, anything that's inappropriate, they get deleted. Let's see, many talk about keto, vegan, vegetarian, but few mention gluten-free, medically necessary, but it rarely gets a mention of a late. Can you help me understand why of that problem? Well, I think gluten-free has really been in the driver's seat the last five years. And now people are also moving to keto and vegan and vegetarian. Uh, gluten-free, we eat gluten-free minus the pie 99% of the time. We don't like gluten. It's highly processed. It's inflammatory. It's nothing like the gluten from 50 years ago. You don't have to eat gluten anymore. There's so many alternatives. Flowers like almond, coconut, uh, chickpea, this and that. So that's 40 minutes. Come over here for a second, <clears throat> Leilani. So 40 minutes at 3.50. I'm just gonna open it really quick to show you what's up. We're not gonna get much browning now, but it's cooking on the inside, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna close it up here, raise the oven to 375 now. There we go. And set it for another 20 minutes. <clears throat> that was 40 minutes and we'll do 20. Now we'll do <clears throat> 375 F4, 20 minutos. Is there caffeine in the hot chocolate? Nope, no caffeine at all. Do you have protein powder without mushrooms? The follow-up flavors will be. We're working on follow-up flavors that are also tree nut free. We're thinking of flavors like vanilla, but we're thinking of doing one that's like a keto-ish um, birthday cake batter with epic ingredients. Yeah, yeah, Leilani's face just lit up. Uh, we're thinking about doing um, berries and cream and uh, mango and stuff. What's, is there a funny comment? No, no, it's a TikTok thing. Oh, which one, the berries, berries and cream? Berries and cream. Do I wanna know or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> a good diet for someone with liver damage. Uh, Sherry, search on YouTube, Flav City uh, liver. I have a video all about foods for fatty liver. Yeah, birthday cake with keto sprinkles in there. It's gonna be epic. If it works, it's gonna be epic. Thank you for that, Jane. <clears throat> Sending a text to people about winning a car? What, did Shopify City send a text message about winning a car? I don't know about that. We're working on actually a, a Willy Wonka thing where if you order hot chocolate, uh, coming soon. There's going to be golden ticket and silver tickets and silver tickets win a private live stream and gold ticket will be flown out here for dinner about a car. I don't know about that. We got to ask uh, uh, De uh, Erica about that. When is your grape flavor coming? Funny you ask. So these are the samples right here. We're going to come out with a line of aid. So this says orange tang. We have orange tang and Rose drank all the grape. So <clears throat> coming Hopefully late spring is going to be my electrolyte mixes. So another thing people scan and buy like crazy is electrolyte mixes like liquid IV, Element, 
Liquid IV has 11 grams of sugar and natural flavor. You can make the argument you need a little bit of sugar if you're dehydrated. 11 grams is borderline three teaspoons, way too much. So we're gonna have aid line, like Gatorade, aid, orange aid and um, grape aid. And it's gonna be organic grapes or orange mixed with the traditional sweeteners we use, but then magnesium, potassium, calcium, little bit of unrefined salt and some other secret ingredients to make the best electrolyte mix the planet has ever seen. So stay tuned for that. That'll be for people who are schwitzing and active. Otherwise, I would just drink my lemonade because it's refreshing, it's hydrating, and it has the vitamin C. So there's some really exciting thing going on. And I love it because we always ask you guys and we do like Instagram polls or we do Google Forms. And you give the best feedback ever. Thank you for that. We have no plan to do products in stores yet. I think if it gets to the point where they reach out to us and they want to do it at like Target or something, I would definitely do it. Oh, I'd love to hear that. June, your two-year-old son. Say hello from Rosie and I. Yeah, that was a combination of Granny Smith and uh, Gala. Any baking apples work. Did you get any home ideas from Mama Ali's beautiful Colorado home? Um, we designed everything before that. But we did, we just, we loved, we loved their home. It was, it's very unique. Their walls were just beautiful. So maybe for like a future house, absolutely. I'm a big fan of IF, intermittent fasting, Alvia. I don't do it, but I think it's really good for a reset. If you want to learn about that, go uh, read some, uh, watch some videos from my friend Thomas DeLauer. Yeah, Jennifer, you missed the video, but you can watch it back. Love to hear that, Miss Rivera. Lost 30 pounds. Fantastic. Viviana, are you going to be grilling when Art comes to town? I don't know. I don't want old fireball. I don't really have those problems with the Traeger, so <clears throat> those days might be behind us. Jeff wants to know if I'll be doing restaurant reviews again. Uh, maybe. I did so many, and then people started misconstruing them. They're like, Bobby's a sellout. He's advertising for Taco Bell. It's like, are you missing the point of these videos? It's like to say, hey, don't go to fast food, but if you do, I'm trying to help you get the best quality stuff. And then on the Subway one, people are like, Bobby's sponsored by Subway. I'm like, are you, are you out of your mind? I trashed them in like almost everything that was eaten there. The person I saw a commercial for with Subway was Tom Brady, which I was like, are you serious, Tom Brady? Super weird. How about a mocha protein powder? Oh, mocha. Interesting idea. We're actually thinking about doing a cafe mocha hot chocolate with decaffeinated Swiss water method coffee. I think that'd be really cool because then everyone can have it because it'd be completely decaf and done with water, not, um, not chemicals. I don't, know, I don't know too much about that, Jessica. I got to check out uh, Gundry's BioComplete. Need seed probiotics, can't swallow pills. Any suggestions? Hmm. Yeah. form. People love the fast food. Okay. Where would I go? I wanted to do like Burger King, but they don't list their ingredients online. They're super shady. You can't even get them. I haven't tried the new uh, broccoli thins yet, Cheryl. Yeah, the pots and pans, Sandra, are coming out in the fall. Uh, it's uh, my cookware. Uh, that's a combination of some pots, pans, cutting boards, knives, all the essential things you need to cook, but none of the stuff you don't. And it's mixed surfaces. It's uh, a really good cast iron pan, a really top of the line ceramic nonstick pan, a really good stainless steel tri-ply. It's going to be something you're going to use every day. I'll talk more about that as we get closer. Protein powder will, Valerie, hopefully be the end of the month. Honestly, I think it's going to be the best on the market. There, in my opinion, there's nothing like it. It has 25 grams of protein, grass-fed collagen, functional mushrooms. Like I said, you just scoop it into um, a bottle or whatever, and if you subscribe to it, we're gonna send you a Flav City shaker bottle for free, or you can buy it also. But you can just shake it with 12 ounces of any liquid, including water, but milk is best. Almond milk, cow's milk, whatever. It's creamy as can be. You don't even need like the blender bottles with the uh, like ball in there. It's crazy. I am having problems with Whole Foods being so far from my house. It's 15 minutes away, so I've been going more and more to um, Publix, and I can't stand Publix. They don't have the stuff I love, and it's expensive. I know Floridians love it. It's so much more expensive than uh, 
Whole Foods, it's crazy. Yeah, the backlash from the restaurant. People didn't get it. They're like, oh, Bobby's selling out. Bobby. I'm like, no, you're, you're missing the point of my video. Yeah, as long as the avocado honey is raw, I'm down for that. Best multivitamin for a 15 and a half year old boy. Um, at that point, I would go to Synergy. Synergy makes a multivitamin for men. I used to recommend the Garden of Life one. And if you look at my multivitamin video from two years ago, but they changed their formula. They put palm oil in there now. And so it's not Bobby approved anymore. Chris is in the house. Art will be doing a barbecue video with your new home. You got a new grill yet? I still have my Traeger, Stangman. We haven't done the outdoor kitchen yet. The keto wine is dry farm wines. That's delicious stuff. Vitamin C is coming this week. When is your tea gonna be back in stock? Man, COVID is messing that one up. Ah, uh, I have to ask. I'm so bummed. The immune tea sold out. Really annoying. Yeah, the saws are annoying in the background. I feel you. Where do we get your cookbook? Uh, just go on uh, Amazon. I know some people don't like Amazon, but Five Ingredient Meals has almost 10,000 five-star reviews, and it has all my shopping tips in there. Every single recipe has photos, macros. I tell you exactly what kind of ingredients to buy. Uh, this is why this book has resonated with so many people. I have real testimonials from fans in there. Easy recipes, five ingredient. I tell you what to buy, what to avoid. Macros, photos, anyone can make them. It literally is a book for anyone. And the ingredients are amazing with five ingredients. Brownies with five ingredients? Yes, please. A tomahawk stick. I like that, yeah. I recently scanned a product and it was Bobby approved, but it has sugar. Um, if it has a certain amount of sugar, like three grams, and it's like a chocolatey snack, it can be approved. Case in point, Eno Foods coconut clusters from Costco. Uh, I just have to see. Thank you, Susan. Oh, the keto cookbook, my first one. Thank you so much. I don't know, Robin, if I had to guess, I'd say the immune tea will be back in stock mid-March. Can your Traeger grill be built into your summer kitchen? Hmm. I don't think so because... No, I don't think so. Because it has the engine on there, the grease comes out of the side. I don't think so. Oh, Amanda tried to get that signed copy from Target. The one in, uh, in Boca. I'll try to sign some more. How is your scar on your wrist? It's very slow to go away. So it's been five months now. And it's just a really sensitive spot. So I had rose in my hand and I fell. And I fell on concrete and just raked it across the concrete with 30 pounds of rose in my hand. So... I kind of forgot, but I have vitamin E oil here. Thank you to, to Rosie for recommending that via email. And I was putting this on and then I forgot. And I just, I don't mind a little scar. I just don't want a big nasty gash there. The keto wine is called Dry Farm Wine. I have a link. Go to their website, Dry Farm Wines, and then do slash Flav City. It should get you a free bottle of wine. I like to use bone broth in my protein shake. Ooh. That's like a super cool idea. Where's D? I don't see D. Uh, children cannot take the seed probiotic, but they're coming out with a children's one, uh, hopefully in the next two or three months. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Ooh, true food kitchen. Nice. Enjoy that one. I highly recommend the um, seasonal salad with the kale and the um, butternut squash right now. Rose hip oil on scar. Interesting. Thank you, Sonika. Where should we pasture raise pork now that Belcampo's out of business? Um, well, the selection is not huge, but Cook's Venture, where I get my chicken, has ground pasture raised pork, sh uh, pork shoulder, which I'm going to do on the uh, Traeger, and they have pork chops. And if you, if you use my code, it's $50 off your first box. So Cook's Venture, get a mixed box of pork and chicken. Use promo code FC. Uh, like Flavor City, FC50, and it comes out to $7 a pound. It's a great deal. The water system we have, what's well, from that guy who lives in Huntington Beach? It's thebettertwatercompany.com. It's a reverse osmosis alkaline water system, and he's going to install one on the outside of the home to filter all of the uh, water in the house, too. Cocoa butter, interesting. 
Yeah. I'm thinking about once in a while doing the Whole Foods delivery, but I plan ahead very poorly. So I'll think about dinner at lunch and they can't deliver it in a two hour window usually. So it's like, ugh. Will the cabinet LED lights change color? No, these don't. We had the option to, but they wouldn't be as quality and I wanted like really high quality ones. Uh, Danny, the pots and pans and the cookware set will be out in the fall. That takes a long time, unfortunately. Hey, you cutie. Come here, say hi to everyone, Rose, and then I think we're gonna bounce. Apple pie. Wanna see the apple pie? All right, she wants to come check it out. Take a look in there. Good. It looks good, right? Yeah. We got another probably 30 minutes. It smells good, right? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, you can turn the light up. Thank you. Off. Off. On. On. Off. On. Off. Off. You say hi to everyone again, Rose? <laughs> are, you, are you ready for lunch? Yeah. What do you want? Turkey sandwich? Prosciutto. No prosciutto? Should daddy have prosciutto? Yeah. Do you want sauerkraut? Yeah. Do you want pesto? Yeah. Do you want chips? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds good. All right. So, I mean, that's it, you guys. Uh, this will bake for another 30 minutes, and then it has to cool for another 30 minutes to an hour. So we'll have this for an afternoon snack. Should we put ice cream on top? Yeah. Ooh, what kind? Um, pink. Pink ice cream? Yeah. Do we have pink ice cream? No, let's put either vanilla or we have that, Viviana, we still have that um, Coconut Bliss, what is it, the, the Graham Cracker one? It's, it's really good. So uh, that is it. Make sure to, don't, show, don't spread your life friends. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, we'll do another live stream probably next, next week to celebrate 3 million subscribers. We're about to hit that probably this week, which is crazy because I've been on YouTube for 10 years. The first three years, nobody watched our videos, nobody subscribed, so 3 million is insane. Um, that's it, but hop over to Shop Flav City. We're doing a sale for the hot cocoa, Rosie. Should people buy it? Yeah. I recommend it. So shopflavcity.com. What do you want? Maybe. Some water? Here you go, my sweet. We'll do 15% off of the hot cocoa with promo code ROSE, and then free shipping if you buy any two items. So shop... You want your tiny cup? Shopflavcity.com, and check it out. I'll leave that up for 72 hours just for people watching this broadcast. But um, this was a lot of fun. No, this What's it doing? No, it's clean. It just came out of the uh, washing machine. No. You, want, you have another one? No, this one. Oh, okay. Are oh, you spilling off? Okay. Uh, but that's it. Awesome time hey, hanging out. Jesus. Look at what? The water? Yeah. Oh! Did that splash out of your sink, Rose? Yeah. Oh my God. All right. We're out of here. I got more cleaning to do. We'll see you soon. Well, I think we'll be on very soon again with a 3 million subscriber uh, live stream party. Bye guys.